Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey. Hey, it's your boy Doc Reed back again with another video. Now a lot has been going on this week. Can't really tell you guys everything, but just know it's been hectic. It's been super stressful and a lot has been going on. But I'm glad to be back with you guys and I'm glad to get back on the grind. So let's get back on the grind. Been dealing with a lot of stuff outside of YouTube, uh, trying to reach out to brands, get brand sponsorships, also just doing other business projects. And plus Aubrey and I, we got into a little car accident. Uh, she got a concussion, so she's been at home all week. Kind of just been taking care of her and dealing with a lot of stuff outside of YouTube. But you guys have seen me, if you guys follow me on social media, you guys have seen me grinding. I've been grinding every day outside of YouTube, uh, also behind the scenes on YouTube been scheming about a lot of stuff so a lot of new content is coming to my channel soon all you guys who are still with me shout out to all you guys I love you guys I appreciate everything you guys do for me some of you guys know what I've been going through a lot of you guys don't but are still here to support and I love you guys for that so thank you getting into the video today I've really been thinking about doing this video for a long time because it's something that I always wanted to talk about it's one of my not favorite memories of college but it's definitely the most memorable moment in college and it was my first fight my first football fight I knew it was coming sooner or later because you guys know the competition at the next level is just so high it's like so likely to get into fights especially when you get to college and you're new you have to go against people who are older than you and there's kind of seniority already on the team you know a lot of people are just fighting for that position a lot of people are fighting even though they're on the same team they're fighting to get on the field and they want to get that starting position they want to get that spot and keep it so the competition is always high and uh, so there's a lot of risk of getting them fights. When you guys get to college and you guys play college football, you guys will see a lot of fights. Little fights that will break out here and there. Sometimes they're big fights. The most important part about these fights is that you guys leave them on the field. If you guys ever get in fights with somebody on the team, on the field, make sure you guys leave it on the field. I mean, it's just contagious if you guys are teammates and you guys are carrying that stuff outside. You guys are family, you guys are teammates. So I mean, there's gonna be fights sometimes in the end and you guys can't be fighting outside of that you know what I mean never 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 hold a grudge with anybody especially the people that you love because life is short and also just football in general if you guys are on the same team and that family chemistry has to be there because when it's game time it doesn't matter who you guys are going against whoever is on the other side of the ball is who your enemy is not your teammate nobody on your team the other team you got to take out all the anger on the other team but anyways guys Getting into this video, I'm really excited to show you guys what happened. I mean, I don't really have the actual footage, but I can walk you guys through life commentary of what happened. So, I mean, let's get started. Let me just give you guys the gist of what happened. A lot of you guys know I went to Wazoo, and when I got there, new coaches came in. New coaches came in, which meant new players came in. I was there for about half a year, couple months, and so I was with the old coaches, but when the new coaches came in, they brought in their own players. So, you know, new coaches bring in new players, what does that mean? That means that they want their players to get on the field. So it meant all the players that are already there, they had to earn their spot again. They had to show the new coaches why they deserve to keep their position. So I was one of them. So being me, you know, I was young, I got there, I didn't really know what was going on. I didn't have much experience at the college level because it was my freshman year. So I went there to play wide receiver. Went there to play wide receiver. That's what I thought I was going to do. I thought I was going to help the team ball out at the position because I was pretty good playing receiver. So when the new coaches came in and they said they were bringing new receivers in, I was like, nah. That's not happening. Nobody's taking my spot. Long story short, new coaches decided it was best to switch me to corner. They switched me to DB. You know how I talked about that anger building up? Well, I had to take it out and I decided, you know what? Since I can't do anything about my position change, I'm gonna just take out all my anger, get mad good at corner and take out all my anger on the new receivers. So the new receivers get there. And I mean, they're pretty nice. I'm not gonna drop any names or anything because I mean, me and this guy are cool. And so it's all love, but Going back to this moment, it was not all love. I wanted to knock him out. Anyways, 
new receivers came in and they were pretty nice. But there were a couple receivers where I was like, there is no way this kid is better than me. I don't even want to talk crap about them. Just know that I knew inside that I was better than these kids 100%. And I mean, it was obvious. A lot of my old teammates knew that. A lot of the new kids coming in, they didn't really know that because they never seen me play receiver. These kids were coming in, messing up, doing, do, running the wrong routes, dropping balls, fumbling. I was like, man, this is crazy. These coaches really replaced me with these kids. You know, I didn't care, so what did I do? I just continued to work on my craft. I continued to get better at DB, started picking it up until this one kid came along who was talking so much crap. Now this kid, he came in kind of late. He didn't come in with the other receivers at the same time. He came in kind of late. So he got there and he was balling out. I mean, he was doing his thing and I was mad because I'm like, that should be me. That could easily be me. So I mean, one day guys, it just got bad. I mean, me and this kid, the coach put me on his side of the ball. So it was just me and him all day. And I mean, we're going back and forth. I mean, he was making some good plays caught a couple balls on me, and then I would come back, hit him. He would come back, catch another ball on me, make a little nice move, and then I would come back, smack him again, and then I'd come back and smack him again. It was getting late into practice, and it was getting very competitive, because I don't know if you guys know this, some of you guys may know because you guys are in college. In college football, you guys kind of start out with the warm-ups. Throughout a college practice, you guys build up to team. And what team is, it's the offense against the defense. And so, I mean, the offense and the defense go heads for a little bit towards the end of practice. And sometimes they do live reps towards the end of practice. So me and this kid, we're going to add it the whole practice, like I said. Special teams is usually right before we run into the team. So, I mean, we're doing special teams. I was punt returner, so I was returning to couple punts so right before a team they split us up you know there's defense on one side of the field and then there's offense on the other side of the field after we do a couple drills a couple things we come together as a team and then the coach tells us we're gonna do a couple reps against each other that are live this is where it started getting rough and so it was me against the kid that I've been going against all practice and the coach is like all right we're gonna do a couple walkthrough plays before we get started. So I'm like, all right, cool. We're just gonna be walking through some plays. It's not gonna be anything close to live. We're just walking through. And I know you guys, you football guys out there know what walkthrough is. You literally walk through the plays. We're walking through, the quarterback says hike and everybody's walking. This kid comes up to me, grabs me by my shoulder pads and pushes me back. And I'm like, oh, all right, all right, all right, all right. So I was not mad at this point. I was like, all right, what is he doing? Obviously, he probably didn't know it was live and he probably did that on accident until the second time. Now kids, take note out there. This is a specific situation that I want to talk to you guys out there and let you guys know, all you kids who are playing football out there, don't ever let anybody punk you in football. Don't let anybody, because this is exactly what this kid was trying to do. He was trying to punk me. He was trying to act like he was better than me and so that I would be scared of him. Obviously, that didn't work out because he messed with the wrong dude at the wrong time. And I know you guys know at this time, I was not very happy because I was already playing a position that I didn't want to. So next play, line up. He does the same thing again. Walks up to me. He grabs my shoulder pads, lifts them up and starts pushing me back. And then he pushes me, bro. I can't even explain, I can't even tell you guys how mad I was. Because that, the first time I was like, okay, maybe it was an accident, but it still kind of pissed me off. The second time he did that, I knew for sure he was trying to make me look like a little punk. So what did I do? Of course, I'm not gonna let that slide. I walked back up to him, shoved him. He walked back up to me, pushed me, you know, a little push. As soon as he initiated that push after I pushed him, I knew he wanted to fight. So what did I do? I threw the first swing. Of course I threw the first swing because I knew he wasn't. Don't do what? I'm punching your he just wanted to push and look tough. So I threw the first punch. I was falling back and I threw a haymaker. I am not lying, guys. You can ask anybody from this class of mine that was on that field, anybody at that practice, everybody saw it. Everybody watched it on film too because they had it on film. I wish I would have saved it. I threw a haymaker. I'm talking Floyd Mayweather haymaker. If he didn't have his helmet on, he would have been knocked out because I hit him in the helmet and he fell on the ground. 
I got on top of him, threw as many punches as I can, was just going ham at his helmet. A lot of people might be like, you're stupid for punching him because he has a helmet on, but you guys aren't football players if you guys don't know that you guys throw haymakers no matter what, if his helmet's on or off when you guys are fighting. Because it doesn't matter, you just wanna punch him. If you guys think that's stupid of me punching him when he has his helmet on, then you guys obviously aren't football players. You guys don't know what it's like. You still punch him anyway. That's why a lot of football players be punching people with their helmets on. It doesn't matter if they have it on or not. And I got a couple under his chin. And then that's when the whole team started coming over. The whole team started coming over. You know, somebody pulled me. I fell to the side. He got up. He tried to throw some punches. Missed. Turned them back over. Started punching them again. And then I got pulled off by my defense squad. It's all over. And that's what happened. That was my first fight ever. Of course I won. Of course I won because I'm not going out sad. But you guys can ask anybody on the defensive side of the ball. And you know, I was a quiet dude in college. A lot of my teammates were shocked. They had no idea I was about that life. They had no idea I was like that because I was always so quiet. That's because I love my teammates. You know, I'm never gonna, I'm never the one to try to fight my teammates or any of that. If you start talking crap to me, you start disrespecting me, you push me, any of that stuff, you guys piss me off, of course I'm gonna fight you. For all you kids out there, just know the competition is gonna be high at the next level. I'm excited for you guys to get up there. I mean, obviously after the fight, we're cool. It's funny because after that day, he never touched me like that again. He never came up and tried to block me. You know, he always avoided me. It's whatever, I mean, he balled out, did his thing. But I love you guys, it's your boy Doc. Stay tuned for more dope videos coming soon. Love you guys, peace. I know you're so